I got a call so the, the phone trip out. Yes, I'm sorry about that. So, yes, the reason why I was saying that the reason why I said about encouraging somebody is because during my journey, I got a lot of discouragement. I have, I have a story for you guys. Let me tell you. And this story will never leave me. You guys are hearing me now? Hello? Alright. So you guys hear me? Alright, so I have a story, right? Um Okay, great. So I have a story. I remember in primary school, I had this teacher. This teacher, still a little low. It's not phone. It's not phone. Um, this teacher, okay. This teacher, she hated me for no reason. You know? Like I wasn't. I like this teacher does hate me for no reason. I don't know what's wrong with the volume. I don't know what's wrong. Tell me if you guys are hearing me now. Hello? Um, are, are you, am I a little louder? Okay, um, so I had this teacher. Great. So I have this teacher um, in grade 5. This teacher hated me for no reason. Every day she would beat me. Every day she would beat me and make me cry and 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 sing. She beat me every day, you know. And then one day she tell me, say, you know, they do good. You go pass the, one of them local slow school there. You know the slow schools that children that don't pass GSAT go to. The, those in my days it was GSAT, not PEP. So she say you're going to pass to one of the worst schools. And I said, this woman, she really don't like me. She really hate me. And I did my best. When I went out of her class, because we do Jesus in grade 6. When I went out of her class, I was, I was so brilliant. Like, I was on the top of the class. I was getting good grades, you know. I'm, I've been a brilliant student. But you see, in grade 5, they are bad grades because this teacher beat me so much. So I didn't want to go to school. And if you know me, I love school. I love school because school is where I get to learn and I love learning. So, yes, guys. So, yes, share the live and like up the live, please. So, school, I love school. I love school. And some teacher can be very cruel. So, I, will, I guess it was because of the community I am from makes you hate me so i don't know but the lady just never liked me none at all and i did gsat and i passed to st andrew high school for guess with one of the highest average in the school and that lady was the one that gave me my surfer ticket for graduation and as i was going to say to her remember the day when you tell me say i'm going to pass to a low school and now look at me look at me one of the highest average in the school so you know i am proud of myself because i've been i've been praying from i was small so it's jesus time of prayer i remember going on my knees at 11 12 years old i remember going on my knees and praying to god i want to see a good top school i want to see a good good school because them put me down too much 
them mistreat me too much god lift me up i saw me a prayer now as a little pit me so it's not no me a prayer a long time me a prayer and i like to me grew up now and learn like me a prayer me just start prayer a long time me a prayer and i've and I remember that that is just one story of people trying to the, the enemy trying to come in and destroy God's plan. But you know, them can't destroy God's plan. And from a purpose, them can't do nothing. Okay, welcome, welcome back, everyone. So what happened now? In high school, I remember a teacher. Um, she said to me, um. You know, everybody, everybody in the school know say I want to do that. Everybody know say I love me want to do. Every God Almighty know that I want to do that. So um, it was coming down to like the season where we applied to go to college, and a teacher look at me and tell me say, "Don't bother apply for law school because you speak bad and like." You're not going to get in because law is very competitive and them don't really accept any or anybody. I said, I said, fret now, come here and say, one teacher, I really I tell me that. Imagine, oh, you have to tell me that. And I told another teacher that was my my teacher, Miss, I'm not calling nobody's name, but I tell her, the teacher said, what? She really said that to you? And I said, say, right now. Go and go apply for it. Go and go apply for the school. Go and go, girl, you know, say, this is your purpose. That is what I'm telling me you now. This is your purpose, girl. Oh, you have to make sure you tell her after you work so hard. Imagine from how much years of work and dedication to become a liar. Once, somebody got to tell me, say, I can't do it. I'm going to start believing. It's when the man tell me that it's to the night, I call up my friends. Like, I have a group of friends. I call them up and say, Tell me, tell me, oh, you really apply for it. And I did apply for it. Them help me out. Them, t- I get all my documents certified. I send it to the school. I sit down and fret for the acceptance list. I'm a fret, my fret, my fret. Because I apply for three courses um, international relationship, uh, relations, sorry, international relations, um, marketing and law i got into international relations and marketing i say the law access and take long but then i fret my fret my fret my fret my fret my fret every day my friend do that i come at school and say girl you get the letter yet because somebody gets it why you don't get your letter and i start fret i say oh god them don't give it to me i'm start fret and you see that moment i become dismayed at them time the God show me say I'm a God. Them time he him show me say I'm a big man. I got my letter and my happy. The way all my happy. God is good. Yes, God is great. The way all my happy. Everybody now me start show me not show up now. But I was proud of myself because I really worked hard and I never expected. So I started to tell my friends, yes, I did God show. I tell my, tell my friends, my teacher asks, my teachers ask, and I tell them, yes, yes, I got you. And I was so elated, elated. I called my mother and I said, Mommy, I got you. And she's like, that's good, girl, that's good. I'm proud of you. You know, I feel so good. Yes, yeah, so that's like a couple of stories that people have told me. So you can't make it and this and that. So that's why, you know, I try to encourage people as much as i can because you see one word of encouragement can change your life and one word of discouragement can also change your mind and and i remember my mind was going to change and i said that i could get into our school so sometimes it does just even sometimes it does people you just want to smile with somebody smile with somebody you know just smile <laughs> just smile with somebody and you see what a smile could can do for somebody. It might sound a little weird to you, but sometimes I just want somebody to look at me and smile. Me, me, you see some smile, some smile, we tell you, say, everything is going to be alright. Sometimes you just want somebody to smile. Sometimes you just want somebody to say good morning. You know, some just a little encouragement. 
<laughs> yes, smile is free. It's not like you pay for it, right? You don't pay for it. You don't smile. It's free. And it's a good encouragement. So sometimes you just smile to somebody. You know, tell somebody, say, everything is going to be alright. You don't know what they might go through in their life, you know. But you just say, everything is going to be fine. Just pray. Pray about everything. Pray about everything. You see, if you want to go, walk, go down the road, pray about it before you go down there. If you want to go out the road, pray about it before you. If you want to buy one TV, you pray about it. Because, you see, when you make God a part of your life, in a type of way, He makes sure that His children are okay. His children are alright. Guys, like up your life. Like up your life. Because, you have to trust in a God, you know. You have to trust in a God because you see, if you're not trusting a God, I don't know what, what I'm going to become of you. You have to trust in a God. Hi, good, good morning, Rosemary. Some, you have to trust in God because God, God knows what I'm do. God knows what He's doing. You see, if you have a sickness, you trust in a God and you speak over it. Say, God, you're going to heal my sickness. God, you're going to unbreak this broken heart. Everything that you want to speak it into being. I want a house. God, I want a house. By next year, I feel a cock up my foot in a one big house. Yes, that's how you talk. If you want something, say, God, I want it. If you want a car, say, God, next year, I feel a push a big top vehicle. That's so. But you see, when you get your achievement, guys, remember to always go back and give God thanks. I always go back and give God thanks. Because a lot of people, you see when God actually answered your, your prayer, we have prayer for years. Every day, every day for years, you come and you pray. You pray to God. Say, God, I want this, I want this. And when you actually get it, you don't remember God. Because the way it's sweet, you don't remember God. Continue to pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray, you pray, you pray. Pray, way maker. I'm a living testament. I'm a living testimony that God actually answers prayer. Um, somebody, somebody DM me um, one day, like after Auntie Dana and everything, and they say, oh God, answer prayer. And I don't know how to answer that because I prayed and I had faith. And I think the faith that I had, is be- that's what God helped me because I have faith. I have faith that it was going to work. Everything was going to all right. I, I had that amount of faith. Still, I stopped fretting. Because where I was fretting, it was making me sick. Because I was so worried. It was making me sick. And I just started praying. I, I never stopped praying, you know, but I increased my prayer life. You know, go up on a three day fasting and to that we tell you about the Jonah fasting. Go up on a Nineveh, Jonah fasting. And fasting really helps. And another thing, it's not fasting is you don't have to necessarily give up food. You can't give up something where you love your food and for, for, for your day or so, three day. You give up something that you love to a point. If you understand what I'm saying, you don't have to necessarily give up food and water. You can't give up your phone. You can't give up things that you probably is a mini idol in your life. And you know God is a jealous God. He's not like nobody getting more than his amount of praise. So, um, you know, give up some little things. Probably you love watch a show. You love watch TV. You give up the TV for a couple Days, you know, and say, God, this is your time now. You go find your knees, sissy. I have a Bible. Let me show you. I have a Bible, right? Right by my bedside. You see this Bible? This Bible, say anything I want, I write it down, put it in this Bible, and close it, and put it down. And when I'm ready, I take it up. I read when I read and go back on the piece of paper. Go back on the piece of paper and read it. Sometimes you have to do those stuff. Anything that you want, you put it and lock it in our Bible. And you just make God work. Because I see some battle, you cannot fight it. 
some battle bigger than you. You can't fight. You can't fight for yourself. But God has to come in and fight your own battle. Sometimes you will have some people fight you. Some people criticize you. You don't do them nothing, right? You do You not. What thing you do? Pass and tell them man him every day. And yeah, we still have people out there We hate you for just tell them man you know, you don't do them nothing. You don't, you don't do them nothing, you don't even have a conversation with them. Right? You don't have something for them to eat you for. But the mere fact that you pass and you tell them man you, know, you probably look happy. People will hate you for that. And them but today, you have to leave them but today to God because you cannot fight that. You can fight somebody hatred for you. A God has to do that for yours. So sometimes you will say, Why God, I'm not do this a person and nothing. And then just eat me out of nowhere. Because it is not your battle to fight. Leave that battle to God. You cannot fight your battle. I don't know how to pick, you don't have to know how to pick on a battle. Because you don't want to fight some big battle by yourself. Some big battle by yourself. Alright, for example, you have cancer and you want to fight cancer on your own. Oh, you're going to fight cancer. You, 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 are you create cancer? Or are you going to fight cancer on your own? The man that is in control of everything on earth and that has ever existed, you want to fight cancer on your, by yourself. No, leave that, that to God. Leave that to God and have fear. Because sometimes we will leave things in God and we still don't have the faith enough to trust him with it and we leave it in his hand his own. we leave it we say we claim to leave it in his hands and then every day we get up we fret about the same problem because you don't fully leave it you don't trust him and you know if you trust your father we love you so much the only thing what god wants for you is all the prosperity and he wants you to prosper he only want good for his children so all you to get up now and say boy me i go pick up that body here me now go stop fret over the situation a lot of people is going through a lot of stuff a lot of people is going through things mean not easy things things that you can't fathom your mind around really you can't really think about that because you have never been in a situation like that and some and those people sometimes when them pray and them pray and them fast and them go for city and them do them david fast them sorry them daniel fast and them them Nineveh fast and god lift them out of them some them places there them dark places there where they were at you have to look at those people as testimony and say if God can do it for you, he will do it for me. Don't bad man. Do not bad man. Hello from Brazil. Hi. Do not bad man. And your season will come. Have a pure heart. Have a pure heart. And don't 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 try to corrupt your little heart. So your heart too small for have corruption in your heart. Try to have a free mind and try to live by God example, Jesus example, and say sometimes it might sound a little way when you say, Would Jesus do it? But when you sit down and you think and say, Would Jesus really do that? If you're about to do something where you know on a right, don't do it. If your conscience are gonna bother you, don't do it. Have a free conscience and love. It's hard for love because some people really, really hard for love, but Guess what? You can love. You can love them. Even if you love them from a distance. Don't practice with eight people. Don't. Just, you know, love. It, it, might be, it might sound hard, but it's not impossible to do it. You know? Love. Love each other. Because if, yeah, and love start with yourself. That's true. You have to love yourself before you can love somebody. And that's the honest truth. You have to love yourself. Love yourself to a point that you won't do certain things to hurt yourself. You won't go certain path to hurt yourself. And when you love yourself, that's just the starting. Yeah, you're going, you're going to say it's easier to love somebody else. 
I mean, I love yourself. Sorry, guys. Um, my lip is a little dry. So, when you love yourself, it's all start with yourself, and that's so true. PLJ. It's so true. It start with yourself. And to be honest, it took me a while to start loving myself because I am a selfless person. Meaning, I will give somebody my all and leave myself broken. So, I found out that I have to love myself. Put myself first sometime. Sometime. Put yourself first and love yourself. And you have, yes, that's so true. You have to want the best for others. Not just for yourself. Don't be selfish. Come on, man. Don't be selfish. You have to want the best for your neighbors. If you do, you probably your neighbors them don't talk to you. They don't like you. You know? Still want the best for them. Want the best for their children. Want the best for everybody. Even the dog over them yard, they want the best for them. Don't, don't, don't try to, you know, be cold. Don't. It, it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Just love yourself. A word of encouragement is so good. Um, you know, today, today, I, guys, I want you to practice a little kindness. You see, if you have a sweetie, you just give your neighbor a little sweetie. Give your co-worker a little sweetie. Write from a little paper, say, Jesus loves you and just leave it from them there. If you don't want them to know it's coming from you. You know, practice something kind today. Probably, you have a change and they see a homeless person outside, give them the change. You know, practice something good today. Not to praise yourself, but to praise God. Because it makes sense you do it, and then you want the praise. I have to make you feel better. No, you do it because a God. God makes you in a warm place where you can give. You do it. So, yes, to glorify Him. Because God gives you it. God can take it back. So, you give outside. Nothing is wrong with giving. Okay? So, and, and I know a lot of givers in all my life today. So, I don't have a problem with giving. So, you know, sometimes, give a little word. Even if you have a word of encouragement. Even if it's a smile, as somebody said earlier, if it's a smile. You know, be nice. It's, it's, it's not really that hard to be nice to people. You know, you know, smile. If you do, you, you know, have nothing to smile about, you smile. You, you know, just have a blessed day, guys, because... The world, we were, the world that we live in today will have so much negativity. We want, we want people where we stand up now and be positive. We want a little positive, we want a rising positivity. Because a world is negative. Alright, for example, go underneath a post right now. And you see much bad comments and the few good ones. Go underneath a post right now. And you see much negativity. Instead of good, you understand? So sometimes we need a little positivity. We need a little positivity in our life. Okay, guys? You're not, you're not all the time you get up and you're close and you carry on the most. You hear you're just negative stuff. Sometimes you force yourself. If you do, it don't come naturally from you, force yourself to be positive. Because boy, it will make a, a whole lot of difference, you know? You're going to sit there and start smell more. You're going to sit there and start your hand free with giving because you just start a be a positive vibe. So, oh, I'm sorry. Probably it's the fan. So I'm going to turn off the fan. So, sometimes you just need a little positivity in your, in your life. You know, and even if you can't smile or whatever the kids might be, pray for somebody. Pray in your heart for them. Because sometimes some people go through some rough parts and them can't smile. Them can't smile no matter how them self is smile. Because the problem they always have on them brain. I have to understand that everybody deal with things different. Probably you can deal with stress. But probably the next person cannot deal with stress. You understand? So sometimes it's hard for them to manage their own stress. So sometimes you have to understand and see with certain people. But you can still... Write a word of encouragement. Say something nice to them. Because I have some people, you know, yeah, you say, Good morning. How are you doing today? And them just start cussing out and nowhere. Where I tell them good morning for? 
anything good about the morning <laughs> i'm sure that don't well it happened to me alone i sure said at least i'm to want somebody on the life we are some morning for nothing good about the morning i see everybody have a conscience you know everybody have a conscience it's probably not the night later <laughs> good morning ruby um probably not the night later them said but why the girl just said me good morning why me that behave like that you know so sometimes you gotta get back to us. You see, every good they do, sometimes people are gonna always have something bad to say. So, always have to pay for that. For example, Auntie Dana. Auntie Dana do 1,000, 1 million good, and people still try to bring her down. Come on. She only do good. She only do good. This woman give up her life to do good, to do charity work. Her life to do charity work and people still bring her down. People still have backlash for her. You understand? And look how much good she do for people. And the same people that we should do good for turn around and be ungrateful. But it's just life. So you always have to expect some bash, backlash from people. That is just how the world works. Okay? And I want to leave you guys because you know guys I have to go on the road to start out my timetable for school. So I have to get ready. I want you guys to have a blessed day. And I want you to be kind to someone today. Because Jesus loves you. He really does. And he only wants the best for you. Okay guys, have a blessed day. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. And like up the live. Like up the live before I go. Like up the live, guys. Like up the live. I am, I am so elated that I could share my journey with you guys. And when I come back from the school, I will be doing another live in the afternoon. So I can give you guys the result of the schedule and my other preparation. Thank you guys for being so supportive. Thank you so much to be on this journey with me. I want to thank all my supporters, everybody that comments. It's a lot of good comments. Like, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, I, I really appreciate it. Um, God has been good and God has been faithful. Big up on ourselves. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Yes, I won't be late. I'm going right now. Okay, bye.